I started playing when I was probably nine or ten, and I started on the beach. My parents would play on the beach, and then I picked it up indoor. Yeah, I played for different indoor clubs um, in the area, and then I played on a beach team that went to Poland with USA Volleyball when I was mm -hmm. about 18, so that was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Miami's awesome, so it was pretty easy. There's great academics, and it's a really tropical environment, and the beach, and the volleyball program and coaches were pretty much what I was looking for. I think this team is great, and it's great to be a leader on it because everybody is so close and really spends so much time together that we just have a bunch of crazy personalities on this team that we have the potential just to have so much energy between all of us and mm -hmm. it's fun. Uh, you guys I think at this point we're trying not to think about being ranked because if anything that just puts a bigger target on our backs and um, I mean that's great that we've had that success and with this team I mean we work so hard that it's a cool thing to be ranked. What are your well our first and most important goal is um, we want to be ACC champs mm -hmm. and Secondly, we want to go as far as we can in the tournament. You know, Lane's a special player. She came in with a great skill set, but what really has turned it around for her in her career is her uh, willingness to work hard and her want to improve. And she's the kind of kid that everyone wants to coach because she wants to get better and she's going to give you everything she has every day. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, absolutely. It's a great thing to play at home. It's a great thing to have the crowd supporting you. It can get really loud in here with the band and a great crowd. And we always want more people at the games, more students, more, more fans overall. It just, you know. Well, you know what's interesting is that there was a player from Manhattan Beach that came before Lane, mm -hmm. which I think helped mm -hmm. draw Lane here to Miami. So there is definitely a history of us having players from California come out to Miami and have great experiences. Mm -hmm. And they're sharing that. And it becomes easier and easier to get other people to follow. You know, we have a great academic institution and at great athletics. It's really hard to find that kind of combination of such high level volleyball and high level academics. And not only that, we're in this beautiful location. We're close to the beaches. We have the warm weather. So for players within the state that we recruit and even without that are looking for that kind of thing that, you know, the big time sports, the great school and the location like that. I mean, it's an easy sell once you get them on campus. You know, we have a bunch of different personalities. It's a fun group, but really, as a coach, what I see is their commitment, and it's a very committed group to each other, and they want to achieve a lot, and they've been working extremely hard for that, and they're ready to do more and give more. You know, in practice, we're trying to work through everything that we're going to experience in the game and, and get better, and so that when we're in the game, we're relaxed and confident and comfortable, and, you know, we just take it you know, try to put ourselves into some situations that we'll experience and embrace that and, and overcome any challenges and, um, you know, get better every day. Well, you know, she's going to obviously stamp her mark in a lot of our record books with, um, with the success that she's had on the court. And certainly she's going to be one of the most, the most decorated player to ever have left here when she does finish her career. And, but like I said before, you know, she's just a great player in the gym and really just gets after it. It works so hard that everyone around her has to work hard and, you know, brings that kind of mindset every day. And, um, you know, it's been, it's a, been a huge part of our gym for the last four years and uh, we want to extend it as long as possible.